Friends, imagine a world where silence has a sound. A place where every rock carries the memory of a forgotten time. You're not looking at just dust and stones. You're staring into the ancient skin of a planet that once burned with mysteries. This is Mars. And what you're seeing now is not just a landscape. It's a timeline carved into stone. Friends, make sure to watch this video till the end because the information you're about to get will truly expand your knowledge. Don't skip even a single second. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, then welcome to a world where we give voice to the secrets of the universe. Subscribe now, like the video, and share it with your friends. Look closely at the layered ridges. These are not random formations. Each layer you see is like a page from Mars's geological diary, written over billions of years by winds, dust storms, and volcanic fire. Scientists call this region a geological time capsule. The darker rocks, rich in basalt, whisper stories of ancient lava flows. The lighter ones, coated in iron oxide, are what give Mars its blood-red color. Every ridge, every crack, is a signature of time itself. If Earth's rocks sing of oceans and rivers, then Mars's stones hum the tune of silence, wind, and eternity. When NASA's rover zoomed into this area, they found rock fragments that looked almost sculpted, as if shaped by design, not erosion. Some of these rocks have sharp angles and shadows that make them appear like pieces of ruins, not from life, but from nature's unmatched artistry. These formations tell us that Mars was once volcanically alive. Volcanoes erupted, lava cooled, and pressure over millions of years created this mesmerizing texture. Each stone here could be older than the oldest mountain on Earth. And yet, they sit here, untouched, unbroken, unforgotten. The Martian winds are silent sculptors. Blowing for thousands of years without pause, they carve the planet's bones, turning solid rock into smooth, ghostly shapes. These winds carry red dust like whispers of time layering the planet's surface again and again, burying old craters, exposing new faces. Every dust storm reshapes the landscape, and with it, Mars rewrites its own history. Beneath this rocky ground lies a secret story. NASA's ground-penetrating radar has revealed subsurface layers that show massive mineral deposits, crystals formed under immense pressure, some scientists believe these rocks may hold chemical signatures of ancient volcanic gases or frozen minerals that record the planet's fiery youth. Imagine the power, the pressure, that forged these stones into perfection. They are not dead matter. They are the fossilized breath of a living planet. Mars may seem lifeless, but its surface tells a story of incredible design, a planet shaped by time, not by chance. The patterns, ridges, and cuts, they form a silent art gallery of cosmic beauty. Each shadow, each glimmer of light, reflects how the sun touches a world frozen in history. And in that stillness, there's poetry. The surface you see here is one of Mars' oldest regions, an exposed crust that has survived billions of years of storms. Each stone tells a story of transformation. Molten lava turned solid, iron mixed with dust, and sunlight oxidized the surface, painting the entire planet in shades of red and gold. Geologists believe that these formations are older than Earth's oldest mountains, if we could slice them open, we would see the planet's memory, layer by layer, written not in ink, but in minerals.
The image reveals rocks stacked in strange formations, as if Mars was sculpting itself. Scientists have discovered unusual angular stones here, aligned in patterns that suggest tectonic pressure. Yes, Mars had tectonic activity. It once cracked, folded, and heaved from within. The ridges we see today may be the scars of ancient planetary movement. These layers didn't just form, they survived meteor impacts, solar radiation, and centuries of storms. Every scar in this landscape is a memory. Billions of years ago, Mars was a planet of fire. Volcanoes like Olympus Mons, three times taller than Mount Everest, threw rivers of lava across this land. When the lava cooled, it formed these glassy black rocks, rich in basalt and iron. Over time, those volcanic fields broke apart under Mars' fierce temperature swings, freezing nights and burning days, until they became the dust and fragments we see now. These fragments are clues like fingerprints left behind by ancient fire. Mars has no oceans, no rain, only wind. But that wind has shaped more art than any human hand ever could. The jagged rocks in this image, carved by sandstorms that have raged for millions of years, Tiny grains of dust, moving faster than bullets, etch new marks every day. Slowly, the planet sculpts itself. It's like watching eternity make art. Recent high-resolution scans of areas like this show strange minerals embedded deep inside the rocks. Crystals that could only have formed under extreme heat and pressure. Proof that the inner layers of Mars once boiled with volcanic power some rocks contain traces of olivine and pyroxene, minerals that glow green and black under certain lights. On Earth, we find these deep within our planet's mantle. Finding them here suggests Mars once had a similar fiery heart. Even the dust on the surface tells a story microscopic magnetic grains reacting to invisible fields that once pulsed beneath the crust. Mars may look frozen, but its stones are alive with energy. If sound could travel freely here, you'd hear the hum of the wind across the rocks, a melody of erosion, a rhythm of time. Scientists use spectrometers and laser scanners to listen to these stones in their own frequency. Each emits a unique echo, revealing its age, density, and mineral soul. It's like listening to the heartbeat of a planet long fought silent. Sometimes, silence is the loudest sound. And here, in the rocky valleys of Mars, this silence speaks. Do you see these rocks? They're not just stones. They are witnesses to the very moment when a planet was being born when the universe sculpted a new world out of its own energy. Every line, every crack, is a memory of an explosion, a pressure, or a volcanic heartbeat, as if fire and dust were fused together to carve patterns into the fabric of time. Some rocks seem as if they were cut by hand. Scientists are puzzled. Such perfect angles are hard to explain by natural erosion alone. Was there another force at work here? Did something beneath Mars's surface once move in ways we still can't understand? These are the questions that grow deeper with every new image we receive. The colors of these stones are strange too. Some are red, as if iron burned and froze in time. Some are black, like hidden flames buried in ash, and some shimmer gold under sunlight, as if Mars itself is telling its story. These colors aren't just dust, they are reflections of Mars's inner soul. 
According to NASA's new data, these rocks contain minerals that on Earth are found only inside volcanic lava. Which means, this is not just land, it's a molten past now turned to stone. Think about it. This surface you're seeing is millions of years old. When Earth hadn't yet formed oceans, Mars sky was burning with fire. This place is the heart of Mars, silent yet still beating. The energy trapped within these rocks, it's still alive. This image, this dust, everything you see here carries a message that the universe never truly ends. It only changes form. What was once fire has now become stone, and tomorrow it may be the beginning of a new creation once again.